All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful and exciting episode of Theme Park Tempo. I am here today at Universal Studios, heading in. I'll get to the actual introduction video later, but I wanted to show you this guy unpacking his back of the car before getting into parking. It is the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Waiting here about five minutes. Not sure what the heck this guy's doing, but wanted to share that with the world. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, officially to the episode of Theme Park Tempo. I am here today at Islands of Adventure with my good friend, former co fellow co-worker, not former, <laughs> over at Sun on the Beach in Old Town, Kara, who just got a season pass. Her first time appearing in a vlog. Say hi to all the viewers. Hello. We're going to rock and roll. We're heading out. We're going to get some drinks. We're going to head to Universal. We're at Universal. We're going to head to Hogsmeade and hit up Lost Coast and just see what a day takes us. Let's go have some fun, guys. Notice this Coca-Cola stage set up for I'm not sure exactly what, but it's just chilling there. Literally just a stage of lights and some Coca-Cola advertising. Huh, interested. It's a new what? It's a new Coca Cola that one we have out right now. Oh. It's is that the one you were just saying tastes like crap? Yeah. Yeah, the Starlight, yeah, there we go. Ugh. It's like cotton yeah. candy. I don't want cotton candy in my coat, we're good. <laughs> Very crowded day, it seems to be at Islands of Adventure. Still construction over the Susicle. Not sure that's gonna be done and ready yet. Time for some fun over at Hogsmeade. The wonderful thing about being Premier Pass holders is we get to use any entrance at the 4 o'clock for the Express, minus Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, of course. Let's go see what fun is in the sun here at Hogsmeade. Please respect the spell limits. I never noticed that. Park fun. I'm gonna go back to Hogsmeade later when the lions when we have our express. Something we can't get express for that's Lost Coaster, so we're gonna wait that out regardless. Stopping off to get a cocktail before I head and brave the line for Lost Coaster. They have a lot of specialty cocktails here served in, served in souvenir and pilsners. You got the Thai Punch, the Predator Rocks, Dino Roar, the Prehistoric Punch, Leaping Lizard, Birds of Paradise, and a Fossilizer. All different cool craft cocktails and I'm gonna hack the Jurassic Park I don't know about IPA just because it looks nifty and it's literally a beer brewed just for Jurassic World here which is really cool yeah it literally even has its own draft for it I don't know about IPA that's what I'm beginning hello Park, and they have this really cool Jurassic World cup they even serve the beer in I love it very nifty <laughs> got my boss the world Jurassic World beer Headed towards Velocicoaster. Kara, any thoughts before getting on this coaster? Uh, you excited? I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna <laughs> die. No, this is one of the this is the best coaster in the park for sure. Anywhere in the Orlando area, to be honest with you, minus obviously Iron Gwazi. Posted a 50 minute standby queue. Looks a little bit less though. We'll see how much we actually wait. I got a beer for the line, so it always helps. So per usual, even though I have a secured GoPro, I can't take you on Velocicoaster. It's sad. Oh well. Although excited to get my friend Kara on for her first time. Got about a 40 minute queue ahead of us. Not sure if I already showed you guys this, but you see that right there? That is Velocicoaster's biggest fan. What is funny? My dad humor. My dad humor doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Almost time to board Velocicoaster. Kara still thinks she's gonna die. You're not gonna die. You're gonna have an experience of your life. This might be your new number one roller coaster. Give it a one roller coaster or no, not really. If you were to say, what's your favorite Folks, coaster of all time? still in all available uh, space, keeping up with the party oh in front of you. Your safety is the off-brainings and curse. 
Especially as you enter the stage. Steel Vengeance? No, it starts with an M. It's over in, um, your voice. Oh, um... It's the horse, you know? Ah, uh, crap. I, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, it's, it's an intimate blitz. Help me out in the comments below. I can't think of it. Um, Maverick, 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 yes, Maverick. This is the same, very similar to Maverick. So originally posted an hour and a half wait. We're coming, uh, sorry, 50 minute wait. We're coming to an hour and a half later from when I first came to you because the Lost Coast went down twice. Um, it wasn't. For Kara's first ride, I would have left. Kara, your thoughts? Leaving Velocity Coaster. Yeah, it was phenomenal. The best ride I've been on. Her number one coaster, my number three coaster. Uh, but either way, lovely time on Velocity Coaster, regardless. Exiting into the gift shop and to see our horrible photos. Oh Although I kind of want to see them now. Yeah. That intimate beauty of a roller coaster, Velocity Coaster, as she goes through her first launch. Love it, love it, love it. River Adventure currently at a 55 minute queue. Gotta opt out of that even though I do have the Express. Natural selections. Crowded day here at Islands for sure. Still technically in spring break. It'll be over soon though, sooner than later. Not gonna lie, I kinda want this T-Rex awesome souvenir mug. It's like, you know, hey, we're having company over. Bring out the cool glasses. This is what I would bring out for the company. Right there. Time for some mediocre dark ride in Skull Island Ring of Kong. It would be a great mediocre dark ride. Time. It would be a great dark ride if they just took out the screens. It's a very screen heavy ride. I do enjoy it though, nonetheless. As Premier Pass holders, we get to bypass all that other yucky, yucky zigzag queues inside. We get to go straight towards the front of the queue. Worth the extra 200 bucks if you're buying the passes. It absolutely is. Our time has come. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> Our time has come for Skull Ring of Kong. My name's Charles Jordan, but my friends call me Doc. See, I'm working on my PhD in paleontology. Join the expedition to confirm my thesis on Gigantopithecus primates, specifically Megaparmatus Kong. I wasn't prepared for what we found. No one was. Kara looks thrilled. I am thrilled. <laughs> I'm super excited. Team one, this is base. Doc, are you on route with the replacements and supplies for team two? Uh, heading there now, Millie. How do you prepare for a place like this? Then there's the locals. They always seem to... That doesn't sound good. To a still very crowded <laughs> Marvel Land here over at Islands of Adventure. The crowd is not letting up today. Where are we going? Oh, bathroom. Okay, I heard. Yeah, take a bathroom break. Come back to you later with some cool Marvel fun. Now it's time for a quick queue ride on the Amazing Adventures of Spider Man. I love this ride, even though it's very screen heavy. It's hard to carry a beer and walk and film at the same time, but I'm multitasking like a champ here. It is an extensive queue outside if you're not express. Luckily though, we are both premier pass holders. We are the elite, the elites. Look at that, the elite. And now we arrive to the Midtown Orphanage where Eric Chadwick is standing by. Oh, I'm standing in front of the Midtown Orphanage. True choice, sincerely to manage it. <laughs> I love it. This fire is believed to have been caused by a ruptured gas It's not a good idea to get a beer right before you go on the ride. Uh, Kara told me, she says, don't do it. 
and I had to chug my beer because they're not gonna let you on the ride with the beer. So yeah, don't get a beer right before the line, especially if you have quick queue. I know it's a dumb idea. I know, I know, I know, I know. Chopping block today is the B&M sit down known as the Incredible Hulk. Unfortunately, by universal protocol, I can't take you on, even though I literally just went on a B&M sit down the other day and over at Bush Gardens Tampa. But Universal is a little more strict. It's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Either way, a great B&M beauty, the Incredible Hulk coaster. Another fantastic, but unfortunately, a POV-less time on the Incredible Hulk. Heading over to Universal Studios now. Gonna spend an hour or two there to see what, what the good jazz is like over there. Maybe we could be part of a Mardi Gras float, which would be really cool. So I took a mid-part break and headed off to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. I got an adult cocktail out of my tie, and my friend Carrie looked at the menu for a whole, like, two minutes in order to Corona. Whatever, she likes beer, but I got a Mai Tai. Looks delicious. Here at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett, I'm on Ellen John. Decided to get another cocktail before heading over to Universal. We indulged in what's called a 1925 com Cosmo. Guys, I, I literally just said Cosmo. Yeah, but but why don't you walk awesome. us through this drink then? Huh? Why don't you walk us through this cocktail okay. we're having? It is a 1925 mimosa. It is prosecco and triple sec and orange juice. Pretty much your a typical mimosa minus a triple sack, but delicious nonetheless. Rest in peace to the bad guy, Razor Ramon Scott Hall, also accompanied by these two warriors of this WrestleMania weekend who killed it, The Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Taking a slight venture into Universal Studios, just see what's good, see what coasters you can get on. Then we're gonna hit up Rip Ride Rocket. A wonderful Togo here. Um, should have been in B&M, but either way, still fun. A little less crowded here at regular Universal, still crowds packing in. However, the sun is setting down and it's a lot less hot out than what it previously was. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun here. Really cool mask here from Mardi Gras, heading over to ET Adventure now, you! Okay, slight detour before ET. We're in SpongeBob Store Pants, which I never actually came in here. You got Squidward's house there. You got SpongeBob's house over me off. I kind of want these Spongebob cozy slippers, not gonna lie. It's nice in here though. What's it? Oh, Spongebob's whole house. Having fun? <laughs> you got Mr. Krabs over here with Mr. Squidward. So I like it in here, it's cute. SpongeBob store pants, SpongeBob store pants, SpongeBob only a thousand dollars for this whole screen. Cool. So we're heading to ET Adventure, and my friend Kara just literally confessed something. It's her first time, <laughs> never been on in her whole entire life on this classic dark ride, which probably is, in my opinion, Universal's best dark ride in ET Adventure. Let's go through at a Universal Express queue. Okay, not taking on ET because I promised my brother I would face him in during ET, so I'm gonna do that. And I'll show you the cue and the exit and Kara's reaction, all a good jazz. 
All right, here we go up to where we tell them our name. Elliot. There you go. Thank Your name? Hi, my brother hung up the FaceTime call to get the last ride of each day. Oh, yeah. Last part, not last ride. Yeah, that's right over here. said, Universal Pan. All of the panties. Let go. You have saved our planet. Come celebrate with us. First time I need to see, how'd you like it? It was very cute. Yeah. Right? Good old classic dark right here at Universal Studios. Take care, Xavier. Bye. Bye, Elliot. Because Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, I'm not going on Men in Black today. Um, no, that's not the real reason. Actually, it's just a long day here. Gonna skip Men in Black, headed over to Gringotts. Just throwing that out there, I don't care about Will Smith smacking anybody. I still want to go on this classic dark ride. Not today, though. Heading over to Gringotts. Been shooting to Gringotts. Haven't been here at night much. It is gorgeous here. I really do love this area. All the sweets and treats. All the dung bombs. All the free delivery. All the hopping pot. Right here in the middle here. Love this area. Very, very, very. Oh, that was adorable. Very, very immersive area. I love Gringotts here. I'm not Gringotts, I'm sorry. Um, Gringotts is the ride we're going to. By the way, yes, I do love this area. Universal. Diagon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Diagon Alley, but I, I do love it here. Very well themed. You don't get much of this anywhere else in any theme park, including Disney. One of the most immersive theme park areas ever. We've got a self nimming quilt here. Pretty cool, just knit itself. All right, we're buying wands? I guess we're buying wands. I can't find my friend. Oh, there she is. I already, have, a wand? I already have two wands. So do you need a third? Yes. Do you want a third? Yes. Are you gonna get a third? Probably. There we go, we're buying a wand. Okay, never mind, hashtag not getting a wand. It's all good though. Cool, cute shop. Love it. One of these days, I gotta come here at Rope Drop and just spend all the time I can here. I really actually do wanna do a full tour of this area because there's so much stuff to do. There's so many shops, there's so many little knickknacks, there's so many bathroom alleys I probably don't even know exist. Uh, I really just walked through here and gotten food and got on Gringotts and left. Um, yeah, one of these days, I really do wanna come here and do a full tour. I know this is a quick service queue during the day for like food and beverages. Um, there's so much, literally so much you can see that I haven't even covered. We had the money exchange in there, there's like the bank. It's just all immersive. I love it here. The wizarding tools and utensils. This is looking like a wizard blacksmith shop, which is pretty cool. Very nifty, never seen this before. There you go. Getting a classic ride here on the Intamin Indoor Coaster Slash Dark Ride Escape from Gringotts. I do love it here how it looks like it's daytime out. All those nine o'clock at night outside. It still looks lovely. I do love the Harry Potter theming. I really, really, really do. It's been a very crowd heavy day at Universal. A very, very crowd heavy day at Universal. Heading on to the Intamin Classic Escape from Gringotts. Probably gonna be the last ride, but as you can see, the whole entire queue is still packed. You gonna make me go on Red Rocket? 
You're gonna make yeah. me go on Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. Should have been a B and M. All right. I guess we're going on Rip Ride Rocket. Never mind. Ah. You're really, you're time. really making me go yeah, on. Yeah. This is being recorded. Yep. And you're telling the viewers you're yep. making me go on. Yep. All right. Fine. What are you doing here? I was about to show out of you. I was the boat. I was just getting the keys. Uh, well, I moved them. All you have to do is ask. At your keys. Mm. How did you get in here? We haven't seen well, you. Well, let me teach you. Right in my pocket. I got you. Yeah. So this told a very hard no by a very nice conductor here. <laughs> I can't take this on the ride. I understand that. Getting a front row ride though, nonetheless. Gotta put you in the pocket though. Universal isn't isn't that cool. Unfortunately, like I said, I can take you on. But another wonderful ride here on Escape from Gringotts. <laughs> So for the record, I am going on a Rip Ride Rocket, not as a personal choice, but as my friend Kara's choice, who's making me go on, and he's like, oh my god, you love roller coasters, why don't you go on this? Because it's an okay roller coaster. There's something crazy about it. It's just Rip Ride Rocket. It has songs, and so does Rock and Roller Coaster. Store. Irish Imports, there we go. <laughs> you're not Irish, what are you talking about? I mean, you're a pale skin is, yeah. Fair, 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 fair. All the, uh, the brief the Mardi Gras parade being cleaned up by the street pickers here. Love it, love it, love it. Kara, do we have to? No. Why? Well, but it's Rip Ride Rocket. Do we... <sighs> oh, fine. I guess we're going on Rip Ride Rocket. Here we go. They have trims on the drop. Just saying, there are trim brakes on the drop. Great ride. Well, good ride. I'm gonna call it great, but good ride. Good ride on Rip Ride Rocket. And here we are exiting good old Universal Studios. Still crowded as all hell here at City Walk. Yeah, there's no getting past this. I had a great time today. Wonderful time here at both parks. Kara got on Velasco for her first time. Any final thoughts, Kara? It was a great time. Yeah, we had fun. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the video, please, please, please like and subscribe down below. We'll catch you guys next time. And here we are exiting good old Universal Studios. Still crowded as all hell here at City Walk. Yeah, there's no getting past this. I had a great time today. Wonderful time here at both parks. Kara got on Velasco for her first time. Any final thoughts, Kara? It was a great time. Yeah, we had fun. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, please, please, please like and subscribe down below. We'll catch you guys next time. I'll meet you at the Midway.